brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset. Advanced Bose technologies let you focus on what matters, flying. And by XMWX Weather, full weather perspective on any device you choose. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AOPA Summit in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, 10 years ago you couldn't open an aviation magazine without seeing a so-called VLJ or very light jet. But between the tough economy and high certification costs, not too many of those designs survived. But Cirrus's FS-50 Vision Jet is still very much in the game. We talked to Pat Waddock about the program progress here at Summit. You know, and it was pretty exciting. In uh, uh, Aero uh, Friedrichshafen, uh, 2012, we announced that uh, the, the program was uh, fully capitalized. Um, we were moving forward. We had, of course, over at the time, over 500 uh, deposits, which we still have uh, those today, and growing. A lot of very patient people. But the important thing was that we could start really accelerating the program. So we started increasing the team. We have over 200 people working on the program today um, on all sorts of aspects from not just the engineering aspects of the program and doing the detailed design, the certification, but also the, the, the sort of the full other aspects of the program to make sure that it commercializes nicely into the marketplace. So training systems, um, how are we going to you know, support it out in the field uh, with a robust customer support system? So all of these other aspects of the program are, are coming into full play. Um, so we've ramped up over the last year plus uh, in many engineers, mostly designers and engineers, uh, certification personnel. The team is, uh, is stabilized. They're making uh, great progress on the milestones. Um, we just recently um, finished the uh, initial assembly aspects for what's going to be the first of three certification flight test aircraft, which we call C0. And uh, we're using all of the production processes and methods that we will in production for the certification aircraft. And where this uh, really helps us is we're able to um, try out these processes and iterate them and improve on them on the way towards certification, but also when we start making aircraft for the initial customers, we already have a maturity in the systems and processes that come with it. So it's pretty exciting to see all of this new production tooling. Uh, we're automating the production process. We have uh, robots in-house. Uh, we just added an autoclave to, uh, to Grand Forks plant where we make all the composite parts. And uh, you know, with uh, this first C0 aircraft, We'll see it quickly coming along where we'll fly it in Q1 of 2014. And then we'll closely follow on the heels of that with the other two aircraft. And we will not only flight test with uh, C0, what we call typically a subpart B, which is part 23, proving out all the performance and handling qualities of the aircraft. Then we'll move on with C1 and C2, testing all of the systems, power plant, and function and reliability aspects of the program. So by the time we enter production, we'll have amassed a lot of hours on these three aircraft, learned a lot, improved the product, and, uh, and really bring a, a mature airplane to the customers.